Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and in this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to download the full installer of macOS Ventura, and then use that installer to create a Ventura boot disk using a USB flash drive or an external hard drive. Let's jump in and get started. First, if you're not aware, let's go over what a bootable installer for macOS Ventura is even used for. Apple has recently updated the bootable installer support page to add more information about doing this process. It says that you can use an external drive or a secondary volume as a startup disk from which to install the Mac operating system. You don't need a bootable installer to upgrade macOS or reinstall macOS, but it can be useful if you want to install macOS on multiple computers without downloading the installer each time, or if you're unable to install a compatible macOS from Finder or macOS Recovery. If you want to be able to upgrade to Ventura from Mojave, Big Sur, Catalina, or Monterey, you can do it through software update system preferences. You do not need to create the full installer. You can also reinstall macOS through macOS recovery on M1 or internet recovery or the internal recovery on Intel. This is used if you want to be able to do it faster because remember installing it this way can be three to four times faster because you don't have to download the full installer of macOS in recovery. So this is a great way to be able to do that. Now let's go over the requirements that you're going to need to be able to create the Ventura boot disk. First of all, obviously you're going to need a USB flash drive or an external hard drive. You can even create a bootable installer on a secondary volume on your internal hard drive, but you need at least 14 gigabytes of space to be able to create that. Now, when we're talking about a USB flash drive, I recommend a USB 3.0 or above for the speed, because if you get a slower one or a really cheap flash drive, it takes a long time to write because the read write speeds are very slow. To be able to get a version of macOS, you're going to need at least macOS El Capitan or later to be able to get the full installer. Now let's talk about how to download the full installer of macOS Ventura. Now there's a lot of different ways to do this. I actually put together a video that goes over three different ways to be able to download the full installer if you want a video walkthrough. But all we need to do is use the Mac App Store link to get Ventura full installer, or you can even use my site to be able to download the install assistant. That'll also let you download previous versions of macOS Ventura if you wanted to do some testing. It'll be right here and all you need to do is click on this. It'll download, you install the package that moves the full installer directly directly to your application folder. And these links on my site are direct to Apple software update server. So you're getting it directly from Apple. Now that we have the full installer of macOS Ventura downloaded, it'll be in your applications folder in your Mac. So you can click on finder here or go into Macintosh hard drive and then clicking on the applications and you should see it right here install macOS Ventura. Now you can also take a look at the size here. It should usually be over 12 gigabytes in size. It's large because it is a universal installer that can be used on M1, M2 Max, Apple Silicon, and on Intel Max. You can create the USB installer on any Mac that you have, including Intel M1 or even an older unsupported Mac. Okay, now we're ready to prepare our USB hard drive or flash drive for the installation of the macOS Ventura boot disk. Let's plug that in now. Okay, I just plugged in the USB flash drive here and it should show up on the desktop shortly. Now, one thing that you'll wanna keep in mind is this process will delete everything on that USB hard drive or external drive. So if you're trying to keep data on that drive, the create install media command will delete everything on that USB hard drive. So go into these folders now and back up any data before we go to the next step. Once your data is backed up and you're ready to erase the drive, we need to open up the disk utility application. So all we need to do is scroll down here and go into the utilities folder and then disk utility will be right here and we'll open up that application. We're going to use this application to be able to format the drive, make sure it's properly ready to go before we start the process. You can see I actually have this split up into two different volumes because I was using it to test Ventura and Monterey. But we are going to go into the view section here or up here, it doesn't matter which view you go to, but you want to be able to show all devices. Once show all devices is selected, you can select the top level drive of the USB drive or the external hard drive. And you can see how I split it in half. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the erase button and we're going to be able to erase the drive. Now keep in mind, I click on this top level drive because I can now select the scheme. If you only see name and format, you got to click the top level drive and then you'll see the scheme because sometimes drives are formatted in DOS or master boot record in a different partition scheme and you want to be able to click on GUID partition map. Then you do not want to use APFS. You want to use Mac OS extended journal and you don't have to worry about the name because because the installer will rename it. So all you need to do is click on erase. And there it is, it's done. So click on done 
and then we can close disk utility. Okay, now that the drive is erased and ready to go, we can use the full installer and the terminal application to be able to create the media. So now all we need to do is go back into Macintosh hard drive and then go to applications and then utilities again, and then look for terminal application. Double click on that and it'll open up a terminal window. Okay, I changed the color and made it a little bit bigger so we're able to see what we're typing in here. We're gonna have to go into the applications folder again to get to the full installer. And then you'll see the full installer up here of Mac OS Ventura. And to save some time, we can right click or control click on install Mac OS Ventura and then go to show package contents. Go into the contents folder and then go into resources and you should see create install media. This is the command that we're going to use to create the boot disk. But before we do, we need to run this command as administrator. So we're gonna go back to the window and type in sudo and then space. Now it's ready for the command. When we drag this over, it's gonna fill out the entire command for us. There it is, the full command's put in there. We need to tell it where the drive is. Do two dashes, volume, and then space. Then all we need to do is drag the USB drive to the window. And that's it, hit enter. It's gonna ask us for our password. We're gonna type that in and that's the password that's on your Mac. You won't see it be typed in here because they don't want anybody to see your password in the window of someone standing over you. So we'll click on enter and then it's immediately going to say, to continue, we need to erase the volume. And if you wish to continue, type in Y. Click on Y and then hit enter. And then it's gonna erase the disk. Now this is where the use of the disk utility could have saved us some time because I've seen some users say, hey, I'm getting an error here that it's unable to erase the disk. That's why preparing it in disk utility might seem like an extra step, but it saves people issues in the future if they're having problems with this section. You can also see that the name has already changed to install Mac OS Ventura on the USB drive. If you wanna be able to see what's happening now, you can actually go into the activity monitor in Macintosh hard drive applications and then go down to utilities and then the activity monitor. You can click on disk and you can see the read write speed of the drive and the USB drive. Because right now there's over 40 to 50 megabytes per second, now up to 100 megabytes being written and read to the disk. So we can move this out of the way and we can see that it's already past 10%. This is all due to the speed of the drive. If you've got a really fast drive, it's gonna go really quick. If you've got one of those cheap flash drives, you can still use it, but this might go really slow and can go up to 30 minutes to an hour to be able to write all the 12 gigabytes to the disk. Okay. Hey, we're almost done here. Well, there we go, 100%. Now it's gonna make the disk bootable. Give it a second or two and it'll be done. And there we go. Install media is now available at Volumes Install Mac OS Ventura. The USB drive is created, but before we go, I wanna show you a neat little trick. We can change the icon of the USB installer. We can go into the drive here and we can scroll down to Install Mac OS Ventura. Click on it, do Command I for information, and then you can see the little icon here. Then go back to the drive on the desktop, click Command I on that too, and then click on the installer icon and then do Command C to copy and then click on the USB drive and do Command V to paste. And look at that, the installer icon changed to a really cool icon for Ventura. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. If you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up or a share, I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, you can click on this Mr. Macintosh icon here to subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and Mastodon for the latest Mac news. And I wanna thank my Patreon members. You guys are absolutely great. I really appreciate you and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.